If the kids are bugging you for something to do this weekend, it will be an insect invasion over at the Academy of Natural Sciences of Drexel University. Shut the up. annual bug fest is back. Let's toss it over to Brooke and Misha. And yeah. you guys have mm -hmm. some special guests with you. We yeah. do. Thanks yeah. a lot, Jill. Look at this. Look at what's this, in my hand. Oh, you know, he's so cute. Uh -huh. This morning we're joined by Karen. And you are um, a bug specialist. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, this is overwhelming, okay? <laughs> we also have some bugs here, okay? Uh, so bugs make some people nervous and some people touch them. Yes, I'm one of them. And I, you can yeah. touch him right on his back. He just might give a little jerk up. That's a Hercules beetle. He's mm -hmm. one of the largest, longest rhino beetles. I feel like I'm He's found swimming. in South what America. But oh, he's alive. Okay. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And they're e important decomposers, which is one of the things we'll be highlighting at this weekend's Bug Fest. We <coughs> love to promote bugs because they are an important part of our world. So it's very important. diverse. So, yeah, so what is this guy here? Because he, he I don't know if he likes back rubs that much. He is a Hercules beetle, and that okay. is a male. The males have the real large uh, he, horns, I mean, which is why they're a type of rhino beetle. The females do not. If you guys can not. see how long that beak is on this guy, let me turn to this. And he has two, I'm so that longer one on breathing. top. And then he has one coming out of his head as well, and he uses that to it's, wrestle for mating rights for the female. It's so incredibly prehistoric to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let's talk about the grasshopper because I know that there's a yeah, grasshopper sure. here as well. Oh, there about him. are some grasshoppers. I didn't know you had that in the whole time. Oh yeah, I have, I have all kinds of buggy friends, and that's what's fun about so Bug Fest is wherever you turn, there is going to be an insect or relative of an insect mm -hmm. to meet. This is a lubber grasshopper, an eastern lubber grasshopper. So you can see these all over Florida. Uh, down on the southeast coast, up through around Texas, the yeah, east coast of Texas. So and yeah. they are very colorful. Mm -hmm. They like to eat plants. And they can be decomposers, eating dead material as well, do that, of Misha. different plants. <laughs> <laughs> and this is one of the many insects that you'll get to see. Bug Fest is awesome because you get to see a lot of these things up close. You get yeah. to touch some of them mm -hmm. and learn lots about them and how they help the world that we live in. We're highlighting insect architecture this year as oh. well as our important decomposers. Yeah. And What's What's the difference between a centipede and a millipede? Oh, that is a great question. And now, so, Misha cannot touch that one, right? Under right. I do not advise touching <laughs> what's in there. But this one we can touch. If you want to put Herc back in there. So um, should I just set the whole thing right in there? Just right in the log. The reason why we keep him on the log is he has a really good grip. We'll spend the whole segment trying to get I mean, him off I mean, he's like hand. really peaceful, but I feel <laughs> like <laughs> that does not make the this background. easier. But this is a millipede, which you're holding now. A millipede is more tubular in shape and yeah. has four legs for every ring. And they're decomposers. They're eating plant material and stuff. Aww. Centipedes, which is Brooke, in this tank out. here, Cross. has fewer legs Look at but much up. faster. Oh, look at them. <laughs> and you see they're doing it. the wave as they move. They move about five legs at a time in a wave Former segment. cheerleader right here. <laughs> so, and I was going to ask you too, so what other kinds of things can the kids do this weekend? Uh, we, we have our ever popular Road Race 500, yeah. where we'll be racing lots of cockroaches. We're debuting oh, a new God, track where they'll be better. touring the city. Yeah. We're going to keep track of what iconic sections of the city that they go to visit from That's the love statue to of course our museum as well. We also have our entomologist out on full force uh -huh. with collections that you never get to see. We also have our bug chef back this year where we'll be doing cooking demonstrations with bugs and you get to taste some chocolate chip chirp cookies which are more delicious than you would think. You know and I was going to ask too, <laughs> what about habitat? Because I know that the environment when it comes to especially insects is so incredibly important. It really is and this insect here on the uh, lid. I'll, I'll just, I can handle her, but we'll just leave yeah. her on there for now. This is Aww. a jungle nymph, and they live in rainforest areas of Southeast Asia, <laughs> which is, is huge <laughs> for a lot of. We're going to take it to break issues. with this one. We're just going to. Misha, you're going to hold this one too? Yeah, I would yeah. like to. You can. Yeah. You are awesome. Thanks for being here with oh, us. Three to go so is next. Much. We'll be right back. Right, look I can't him. believe look this. Look at him, guys.